We're taking a look today at um, modeling from um, FET. It's a great set of simulations. They have all kinds of good physical science simulations. Um, so since we can't build in lab right now, we're going to use models here to look at um, some of the structures that we're going to learn about in class. Um, so um, right here, I'm going to look at our first shape. Okay, some cool things you can do on this software. Um, you can um, erase everything and just have your center and then I can click up here and add two bonds on. Um, we talk about in class how this would be two electron groups and so they want to get as far from each other as possible. Um, and so then down here those electrons as far from each other as possible would be linear. And then the molecular geometry, what I can actually see with the atoms, is also linear. You can also show your bond angles on here if you want to. Um, so that would be one way to see a linear molecule. Um, just to show you another way that I could do that, this would be like carbon dioxide where I add um, two. If I hold down on my mouse, I can kind of drag this around. Um, and again, 180 degrees when it settles out. Um, this is linear and linear because I've got two electron groups that are trying to get as far from each other as possible. Um, so then when we go to our next arrangement. That was where we had three electron groups, right? So they all want a little bit more space from each other. Um, if I get rid of those and fill in um, with three atoms, right? They go into that same trigonal planar geometry. If I drag this, you can see how all of these atoms are in the same plane, which is why we call it trigonal planar. And the bond angles that we saw were 120 degrees, so I can see that there. Um, if one of these gets removed and I replace it with a, a ghost, um, not really, but a lone pair, um, then I can see that my electrons are still in that trigonal planar shape, but now what I can actually see, the molecule shape or molecule geometry is bent. Um, so that would be a look there. Um, finally, if I have four electron pairs, now we have to spread out a bit more, right? So we have that tetrahedral shape. Um, and you can definitely play around with this, especially while you're doing your lab. Draw stuff out, move things around. Um, let's remove those and make something like a CH4, like a methane. Um, so that would look something like this. Here's that tetrahedral shape that we worked on drawing. The geometries are both the same because there's no lone pairs. But if I get rid of one of those and pop a lone pair in its place, now I can see the trigonal pyramidal. Um, so here's that little pyramid, and here's that ghost electrons. It kind of looks like a ghost here, right? Um, taking up space, all right? Um, and again, I can do bond angles. These would be a little tighter than 109.5, right? But this is just giving you kind of on average what it might be. Um, one other thing you can play around with in this simulation is it does give you a set of molecules. So like here's water with its two lone pairs. Um, you have all the same functionality here. So have some fun with this, um, play around with it, and you will be um, taking some screenshots and uploading these molecules as a part of your quiz um, in this chapter. So use this, play with it, and I hope that it um, helps you visualize some of these molecules.